Welcome if you're new, my name is Amber, I am a holistic lifestyle coach and I've been doing this series about transforming your life in 12 weeks and today's video is about how routines are going to help you throughout that process, more specifically how having a very detailed morning routine is essential to making sure that you can become the best version of yourself and live your best life. So if that interests you, definitely stick around. Also if you are new, comment down below, say hi, let us know where you're from and welcome to the community. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I really wanted to make a video about mornings specifically because I feel like the morning can definitely set you up for a successful day. And if you are anything like me, I am not a morning person at all. So if these tips are working for me to have successful mornings, I know they can be very helpful for you as well. So on your journey to becoming her, on your journey to becoming the best version of yourself, habits and routines are gonna be really, really helpful to help you stay consistent. And morning habits specifically are truly designed to kind of set the tone for the day and make sure that you are going throughout the day living as her or the best version of yourself. So the first thing you're gonna to have to do is wake up with a purpose. What are you excited about for the day? What are some things that you really want to accomplish for the day? Make sure those are top of mind when you are waking up. So really setting an intention for your day the moment you open your eyes can help you be proactive instead of being reactive. Things are gonna happen throughout the day that you literally have no control over, but if you set your intention, then there's nothing that's going to distract you or keep you from reaching that goal for the day or maintaining those habits for the day because it's something that's really important to you and you're not leaving any other options. Before you even get out of bed, I want you to start thinking about what you want to achieve for the day and also how you want to feel by the end of the day when you've worked so hard to live in this dream life as your best version, as your her, and how that's impacting you in the long run. Starting off your day, getting out of bed, those positive intentions, a clear vision of what you want for the day is only going to set a positive tone and help you to be successful. The second thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is to hydrate and energize. So I know some people keep like those super cute like glass carafes with a little cup by the side of their bed. I always just have my Stanley cup full of ice and water anyways. And so drinking water as soon as you wake up in the morning can actually boost your energy and give you that little bit of extra hydration that you are going to need in order to maintain your energy throughout the day. So really get into the habit of drinking water first thing in the morning. It's going to kickstart your metabolism flush out toxins, and wake up your body all at the same time. I am someone who cannot drink coffee. Like, I want to be a coffee girl so badly, but coffee doesn't want to be with me. So one thing that I've been trying out for the past couple of months is actually having ginger shots in the morning, and that has helped so much. I didn't realize ginger was such a great source of natural energy, and it also helps with digestion, so it's kind of like I'm taking care of two things at once with like building very healthy routines and taking care of my body. I have been purchasing like those little prepackaged ginger shots from the store, no more. They are four dollars each and I'm like, I cannot, this is like an expensive routine. <laughs> like this is a habit that we're not keeping up with. So I actually just got a juicer during like the big Target Circle sale and I ordered some fresh ginger from the store this morning as well. So I'm gonna just be doing like ginger and cayenne shots and like use that as like a good kick to get myself started for the morning instead of coffee and it is healthier than caffeine because caffeine does have so many side effects for a lot of us. So if you're looking for something to pick you up in the morning, Definitely give ginger shots a try. Also thinking about like the whole idea of hydrating in the morning, typically coffee can be a dehydrator, whereas ginger is also hydrating. So having your ginger shots, having your water is gonna be really helpful to give you that morning boost, that energy that you need to set yourself up for success. So think about nourishing your body before you're depleting it. Next step, you have to move your body, but you have to move your body mindfully. I typically would like clean up my house at night and just like get it reset for the day, but I try now to leave a few things for the morning just to get myself up and moving. I always wear my Apple Watch to get my move ring going for the day, like intentionally thinking about what are some things that I can do, whether that's walking from one room to another to throw in a load of laundry or walking around the kitchen trying to make a healthy breakfast, those little extra things that you're doing to push yourself into movement as early as possible when you're getting up can make a huge impact. 
So even if you don't have time for a specific workout, just really be intentional about trying to move your body more. If you do have time for a workout, I love doing things like Pilates or stretching in the morning. So something very light to get my blood flowing, to release tension, and to instantly boost my mood. But there are also a ton of other different workouts that you can do. If you're someone who likes intense workouts, morning is also a really great time to do them. So doing things like high intensity interval training can be good because your body is fresh, it's a Awake and you hopefully will have good energy in the morning to be able to push through a more intense workout. So kind of play around with some different options thinking of what really works best for you. But remember there's options for everyone. If you're super busy, just be intentional about your moving. Maybe do some like cleaning or tidying in the morning. If you are trying to enter your day in a soft life way, start off with something like stretching or Pilates. Or if you're like, nope, I'm gonna attack the day, go for a run, do a spin class, or be intentional about really moving your body in a more high intensity way and see what works for you. This is going to strengthen your body, strengthen your mind, but also like you've already done something super productive to start your day. You've already poured back into yourself. You've already taken care of your mind. You've already taken care of your body. And so you're only setting yourself up for a very successful and productive day when you get into movement right out the gate. Next up, mornings are a great time to work on your personal growth journey, which is the entire purpose of this entire series of becoming her, transforming your life in 12 weeks, and really focusing on what's next for you and that leveling up process. So definitely try to dedicate some silent moments in the morning. I know it's a little bit trickier if you have family or responsibilities or you have to work early in the morning, but even if it's only five minutes, take some time for yourself. For me, this definitely starts with prayer. I want to make sure that I am connecting with God every single morning so that I can set myself up for a very successful, a peaceful, and a calm day. But whatever that looks like for you, make sure you're setting that time aside. Make time for reflection. Make time to think about what you want to do for your yourself even if you only have a little bit of time. So you can do a ton of different things, whether that is spending a few minutes reading or watching something that's inspirational for you, or journaling out your thoughts, setting your intentions. All of these things can be helpful for your personal growth. If you really think about them in the morning, you're going to be more intentional about achieving those goals as you work toward them throughout the day. So really just taking that moment is great for inspiration and motivation and positivity. Like that's how you want to start your day. Those are the vibes you want to be on to go into your day. Because again, you don't know what curveballs are going to be thrown at you, but you can control how you react by how you set yourself up for success in the morning. It is also important to plan and organize. So I do a couple of different things to make sure that I'm kind of like really locked in and in sync with what I have to do for the day. One of those starts at nighttime. So if y'all would love more information about like a nighttime routine or things you can implement to become her and start at night that are gonna help you out in the morning, definitely let me know, comment down below and I'll start working on that video. Um, but typically at night, I just look at my calendar and I do a review. I think to myself, okay, what needs to be done? What needs to be accomplished? Where do I have have to be? What do I have to do tomorrow? So that way I can just brain dump, get all those things off my mind, get a really great night's sleep. And then when I wake up in the morning, I reflect again, okay, today I have these three things on my agenda. I have this appointment. What time do I need to leave? So that I'm super clear on what has to be done and that helps me not really get overwhelmed or miss things and start slacking throughout the day. So the morning is a great time for you to kind of review your priorities and your tasks, look over your to-do list, and also set some very realistic, attainable goals that you can reach throughout the day. This practice is really going to help you stay focused and productive as you are working toward that 12-week transformation and actually ensuring that you are doing things that are helping you live as the woman of your dreams. I promise you, you can literally change your life in 12 weeks. No matter when you start, it is still a quarter of the year. That is a long time to actually put some habits in place, get some routines in place, and reach your goals. Thinking about really transforming your life every 12 weeks can be so beneficial and so helpful so you don't feel stuck throughout your year or like you haven't made any progress. You're consistently working toward becoming that woman that you want to be. So start with simply changing your mornings. Whether that means you have to push yourself to wake up a little bit earlier, I always say I am not a 6 a.m. girly, I'm definitely not a 5 a.m. girly, but I do try to make sure that I am getting up and getting my day started sooner because I don't wanna miss out on those hours in the morning that I could have been doing something productive or something that's gonna help me feel my best or something that I can do to just spend time alone or pour back into myself. 
I used to struggle really, really badly with rushing. Like I had to be in five different places at once and I didn't have enough time to be there. And I feel like that really pulled me out of my feminine energy, which is not what I wanted. And I don't think that's what any of you want as well. And so by really setting yourself up for success in the morning, you can have a softer life, you can ease into the day and you can truly live in your feminine energy and enjoy your life. Trust me, having a well-organized day is not only going to reduce your stress, but it's also going to help you increase your productivity and contribute to a calm, peaceful feeling in your life. So really make sure that you are using the morning to set yourself up for very efficient days where you are setting aside time to continually work towards becoming the best version of yourself. I promise it's gonna pay off and you're really going to see the benefits in multiple aspects of your life. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Definitely comment down below what's something that you want to do to enhance your morning routine. And remember, it doesn't have to be anything big. Start small, make a big impact. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.